Explore the chilling and tragic tales of three daring encounters that took an unthinkable turn in tiger enclosures. In this heart-wrenching video, witness the harrowing consequences of unauthorized entry into the domains of these majestic predators. As these women ventured into forbidden territories, the line between curiosity and peril blurred, leading to unimaginable outcomes. Join us as we unravel the stories of these unfortunate escapades, emphasizing the stark realities of the dangers lurking within the confines of tiger enclosures. Viewer discretion is advised for this gripping narrative of human folly and its devastating consequences. Story 1. Zafarabad Zoo, located in Lahore, Pakistan, boasts a diverse collection of wildlife, attracting curious visitors from near and far. The sprawling facility provides a habitat for various animals, but the lions stand out as the main attraction, their roars echoing through the air. The zoo, nestled within the vibrant city, serves as an educational hub, enlightening visitors about the beauty and ferocity of nature. Among the attendees on a seemingly ordinary day was Maria Ahmed, an adventurous soul drawn to the enigmatic world of big cats. Maria, known for her spontaneous spirit, embarked on a solo visit to the zoo, her senses alive with anticipation. Unbeknownst to her, this venture into the wild confines of the zoo would take an unexpected turn. As Maria strolled through the well-maintained pathways, the majestic lions lounged in their enclosures, their eyes conveying a blend of regality and predatory instinct. Their eyes conveying a blend of regality and predatory instinct. The atmosphere buzzed with the energy of zoo-goers marveling at nature's wonders. Guided by her adventurous curiosity, Maria lingered near the lion exhibit, captivated by these creatures' raw power and beauty. The date was etched in the calendar as an ordinary day in the summer of 2005 that transformed into a unique chapter in the zoo's history. Maria's presence in the zoo that day wasn't a mere coincidence. It was a fateful collision of human curiosity and animal instinct. The Zavarabad Zoo, like any other responsible animal facility, had stringent safety measures in place. Warning signs and barriers emphasize the need for visitors to maintain a safe distance from the enclosures. However, the lure of proximity proved irresistible for Maria. Ignoring the boundaries, she ventured closer to the lions, perhaps underestimating the untamed nature beneath their calm exterior. In this audacious act of proximity, Maria found herself face to face with the majestic lions and the zoo's resident tigers. Unbeknownst to her, the enclosure housed more than one big cat species. As she treaded into the territory shared by these formidable felines, Maria unwittingly set the stage for an unprecedented confrontation. The sun cast long shadows as Maria's adventure took an unforeseen turn. The tranquility of the zoo was shattered when, in a moment of primal instinct, one of the tigers locked eyes on the intruder. The atmosphere shifted from curiosity to an impending clash between human audacity and the innate wildness of the animal kingdom. As the scene unfolded, Maria stood at the intersection of fascination and danger, oblivious to the peril that lurked in the shadows. Little did she know that her proximity to the big cats would initiate a sequence of events that would forever alter the narrative of that ordinary day at the zoo. Without warning, the tiger sprang into action, its powerful muscles propelling it toward Maria. In the wild, such a move would be a matter of life and death, a dance between predator and prey. However, within the confines of the zoo, this primal instinct took an unforeseen turn. Maria, caught off guard by the sudden aggression, attempted to retreat. The tranquility that once enveloped the zoo was shattered as the tiger closed the distance. The attack was swift and unrelenting. The big cat's instincts overrode any semblance of restraint, and Maria was at the mercy of nature's raw power. The tiger's powerful jaws clamped down on Maria's arm with a force that bespoke its wild lineage. 
The attack unfolded in mere moments, leaving Maria defenseless against the relentless assault. Visitors who had initially been captivated by the allure of the big cats now found themselves witnessing a harrowing spectacle. Zookeepers and staff, alerted by the commotion, rushed to the scene. Fire extinguishers and other deterrents were deployed to distract and disengage the tiger from its prey. The chaotic scene unfolded with urgency, but the outcome was already etched in the intensity of the encounter. Maria's injuries were severe, the consequences of an ill-fated venture into the domain of wild predators. The tiger's assault left her with deep lacerations, the result of a clash between human vulnerability and untamed ferocity. As zoo staff worked to extricate Maria from the tiger's clutches, the situation's urgency hung heavy in the air. The gravity of the situation necessitated immediate medical attention. Maria was swiftly transported to a nearby hospital, her body bearing the scars of an encounter that defied the boundaries of human-animal coexistence. The Zafarabad Zoo, known for its commitment to education and conservation, now grapples with an incident that underscores the inherent risks associated with the powerful beings it seeks to showcase. The aftermath of the attack left the zoo community in shock and reflection. Maria's ill-fated decision to breach safety barriers served as a stark reminder that, despite the allure of proximity to nature's wonders, there exists an unbridgeable gap between the wild and the human realm. The incident would prompt a reassessment of safety protocols and a renewed commitment to ensuring the well-being of both visitors and the majestic creatures that call the zoo home. The repercussions of Maria's encounter with the tiger sent ripples through the community and triggered a thorough investigation by zoo authorities and local regulatory bodies. The zoo implemented immediate changes to fortify enclosures and enhance visitor safety in response to the incident. Emergency response procedures were scrutinized and refined to ensure a swift and effective reaction to unforeseen situations. Additionally, educational initiatives were intensified to impart a deeper understanding of the inherent dangers posed by wild animals, emphasizing the importance of respecting safety guidelines. The aftermath of Maria's unfortunate encounter catalyzed heightened vigilance across wildlife sanctuaries and zoological parks globally. It underscored the imperative need to maintain a clear boundary between the human and animal domains, fostering an environment where both can coexist safely. As Maria embarked on her road to recovery, the incident left an indelible mark on the collective consciousness. The episode echoed beyond the confines of Zafarabad Zoo, resonating as a cautionary tale about the untamed forces that dwell within even the most familiar and seemingly controlled environments. The incident instigated conversations about the delicate balance between showcasing wildlife and safeguarding human lives, a discord that would shape future policies and practices in zoological institutions worldwide. Story two. In the heart of San Francisco, nestled within the vibrant cityscape, lies Bayfront Wildlife Park, a modest haven that provides a glimpse into the diverse world of wildlife. Unbeknownst to many, this sanctuary houses a remarkable collection of animals, including the majestic Bengal tigers. The park, situated in a bustling urban setting, has long been a haven for animal enthusiasts seeking a close encounter with nature. Meet Sarah and Mark Thompson, an ordinary couple with an extraordinary love for wildlife. Sarah, an avid animal lover, harbored a particular fascination for big cats, and her dream of witnessing these majestic creatures up close led the couple to Bayfront Wildlife Park on that fateful day in 2009. Though relatively small, the park boasted diverse wildlife, captivating visitors with its carefully curated exhibits. As Sarah and Mark strolled through the park, the air buzzed with the sounds of nature, chirping birds, rustling leaves, and distant roars echoing from the enclosures. The couple marveled at the Bengal tigers, their sleek coats and piercing eyes commanding attention. 
Bayfront Wildlife Park had stringent safety measures, explicit warnings, and barriers to maintain a safe distance between visitors and the awe-inspiring animals. However, the allure of getting an even closer look proved irresistible to Sarah. Ignoring the well-marked boundaries, she succumbed to the temptation to peer into the enclosure, the thrill of proximity clouding her judgment. Mark, initially hesitant, found himself drawn into his wife's excitement, unwittingly becoming a participant in a dangerous adventure. The atmosphere shifted from excitement to terror as the boundary-crossing escapade took an unforeseen turn. The majestic Bengal tiger, usually a symbol of untamed beauty, turned into an embodiment of primal instincts. Sarah's ill-fated decision triggered a chain of events that would leave an indelible mark on their lives. The swift and decisive tiger seized the opportunity as the couple stood too close to the enclosure's edge. In a fraction of a second, the park's tranquility shattered as the colossal feline lunged toward Sarah, its jaws clamping down on her leg with a force that defied comprehension. The initial shock paralyzed the couple, and the reality of the situation sank in as the tiger's unexpected aggression unfolded. The once serene afternoon was transformed into a chaotic scene of panic and distress. The echoes of Sarah's cries for help reverberated through the park, prompting nearby visitors and park staff to rush to the unfolding tragedy. The attack sent shockwaves through Bayfront Wildlife Park, forever altering visitors' engagement with the captivating yet perilous wildlife. Sarah's harrowing ordeal unfolded in mere moments, yet the consequences would be etched into her life forever. The tiger's powerful jaws clamped down on her leg, inflicting grievous injuries that sent shockwaves through the crowd. Mark, in a frantic attempt to free his wife from the tiger's grasp, struggled against the overwhelming force of the beast. Panic screams reverberated through the park as onlookers grappled with the surreal scene. Park staff, trained for emergencies but unprepared for such a brazen safety breach, rushed to the enclosure with emergency equipment. The situation's urgency was palpable, and within minutes, a team of paramedics arrived at the scene. Sarah's leg bore the brunt of the attack, with deep lacerations and puncture wounds revealing the extent of the tiger's aggression. Blood soaked through her clothing, staining the vibrant hues with a stark reminder of the danger that lurked within the seemingly tranquil enclosure. The paramedics worked swiftly to stabilize her condition, applying tourniquets to stem the profuse bleeding and carefully immobilizing her injured leg. Amid the chaos, an ambulance rushed Sarah to the nearest hospital, where a team of medical professionals awaited her arrival. The severity of her injuries necessitated immediate attention, and the hospital staff worked diligently to address the physical trauma inflicted by the powerful predator. The incident sparked a flurry of activity within the Bayfront Wildlife Park's administrative corridors. Authorities swiftly investigated the security lapses that allowed such a breach. The park, now under intense scrutiny, faced questions regarding the adequacy of its safety protocols and the measures in place to prevent visitors from flouting established guidelines. As news of the tiger attack spread, authorities faced the challenge of managing public perception and ensuring the safety of future visitors. Statements emphasized the importance of adhering to safety guidelines and the inherent risks of proximity to wild animals. The incident became a cautionary tale, serving as a stark reminder of the unpredictability of nature even within the confines of a supposedly controlled environment. The fate of the Bengal tiger, the unwitting protagonist in this tragic episode, hung in the balance. Park officials, in consultation with wildlife experts, deliberated on the appropriate course of action. Euthanizing the animal, a controversial decision fraught with ethical considerations, loomed as a potential outcome. However, the park chose a different path amidst the debates and discussions. In a rare display of mercy, the Bengal tiger was relocated to a sanctuary better suited for its needs. 
The decision aimed to balance ensuring visitor safety with recognizing the animal's innate instincts. The incident prompted a re-evaluation of enclosure designs and safety measures to fortify the park against similar breaches in the future. Sarah's recovery journey unfolded against media scrutiny and public discourse. The physical scars on her leg bore witness to the price she paid for a momentary lapse in judgment. The incident became a cautionary tale, resonating beyond the boundaries of Bayfront Wildlife Park and underscoring the importance of respecting the wild, even in seemingly controlled settings. The aftermath of the tiger attack cast a long shadow over the park's reputation, prompting a comprehensive review of safety protocols. Bayfront Wildlife Park emerged from the incident with a renewed commitment to visitor safety, vowing to learn from the tragedy and implement measures to prevent such incidents. The incident left an indelible mark on Sarah and Mark, a couple whose quest for a closer connection with nature had veered into a realm of peril they could never have anticipated. As they navigated the challenges of physical and emotional recovery, their story served as a poignant reminder of the delicate balance between human curiosity and the untamed forces of the animal kingdom. Story three. In the heart of Florida, nestled amidst lush surroundings, lay the Sun Haven Wildlife Park, an immersive haven where visitors could catch glimpses of majestic creatures from around the globe. The park boasted an expansive tiger enclosure, a carefully crafted habitat for resident Bengal tigers. On a fateful day in 2011, the tranquility of Sunhaven would be shattered by an audacious act that would leave an indelible mark on the park's history. Enter the Anderson family. Rachel, accompanied by her husband, Mike, and their two children, Lily and Ethan. Eager to explore the wonders of the animal kingdom, they embarked on a family outing to Sunhaven. Unbeknownst to the park staff, this seemingly ordinary family harbored an adventurous spirit that would soon lead them into uncharted territory. The tiger enclosure, a sprawling domain with lush greenery and carefully designed terrain, housed the park's prized Bengal tigers. Among them was a particularly spirited feline named Raja, known for his regal bearing and playful demeanor. As the Andersons wandered through the park, the allure of the tiger enclosure beckoned to them, a magnetic pull fueled by curiosity and a desire for a closer encounter with the wild. The date was etched into the calendar as an innocuous day of family exploration, but it would soon become a pivotal moment in the Andersons' lives. The air buzzed with the symphony of nature as the family approached the tiger enclosure. Unfazed by the seemingly impossible barrier that separated them from the tigers, an idea sparked in Rachel's mind, a daring plan to bridge the gap between the confined wild and the inquisitive human spirit. As the family surreptitiously approached the enclosure, their hearts quickened with excitement and trepidation. The towering mesh fence, designed to uphold the delicate balance between spectator and spectacle, failed to deter the Andersons from their impromptu escapade. The prospect of a once-in-a-lifetime encounter with the majestic creatures spurred them forward. In the ensuing moments, Rachel extended her hand through the mesh, bridging the divide between human and tiger. A thrilling rush of adrenaline coursed through her veins as she felt the coarse texture of Raja's fur beneath her fingertips. The encounter, initially harmonious, took an unforeseen turn as the tiger, perhaps startled by the unexpected intrusion, reacted instinctively. In a swift movement, the atmosphere shifted from euphoria to alarm as Raja nipped at Rachel's hand. A sudden jolt of pain surged through her as the reality of the situation dawned on the Andersons. The family's impulsive venture into the tiger's domain had resulted in an unexpected and potentially dangerous interaction. In the aftermath of the incident, the park echoed with urgent calls for assistance. Park staff rushed to the scene, mobilizing expertise to address the unforeseen safety breach. An ambulance was swiftly summoned to tend to Rachel's injured hand, adding an element of urgency to the unfolding drama. 
As Rachel grappled with the repercussions of her impulsive act, Sunhaven Wildlife Park faced a reckoning. The incident prompted a reassessment of safety measures, spurring the park to reinforce enclosures and fortify barriers to prevent future breaches. The episode became a cautionary tale, underscoring the importance of respecting boundaries and safeguarding visitors and resident wildlife. The Anderson family, thrust into a maelstrom of emotions, found themselves at the center of a narrative that transcended the boundaries of a typical family outing. The consequences of their audacious foray into the tiger's realm were a stark reminder of the inherent risks associated with wild encounters. In the aftermath of the audacious encounter at Sunhaven Wildlife Park, the repercussions of the incident extended beyond the immediate realm of the Anderson family. As Rachel received medical attention for her injured hand, authorities swiftly intervened to address the repercussions. Emergency responders were summoned to the park urgently and arrived to assess Rachel's condition. Medical professionals' swift and coordinated response became crucial in managing the fallout from the impromptu tiger interaction. Though nursing a wounded hand, Rachel received prompt medical care, mitigating the severity of her injuries. Meanwhile, the incident triggered a comprehensive investigation by park authorities and local wildlife experts. The focus shifted to understanding the factors that led to the unexpected tiger attack, unraveling the encounter's intricacies to prevent similar future incidents. The consensus among wildlife experts underscored the inherent dangers associated with breaching safety protocols in zoological settings. Authorities at Sunhaven Wildlife Park Aware of the need for enhanced safety measures, thoroughly evaluated their enclosures. The goal was to fortify barriers and implement additional safeguards to prevent unauthorized access and minimize potential risks to visitors and animals. In the wake of the incident, the park reassessed its protocols for visitor education, emphasizing the importance of adhering to established guidelines. Warning signs were reinforced and informational materials were distributed to visitors to respect the boundaries and safeguard the public and the resident wildlife. The Anderson family found themselves at the center of a discourse on responsible wildlife engagement. While their impulsive actions catalyzed change, the family became unintentional advocates for heightened awareness about the potential consequences of unauthorized interactions with zoo animals. The incident also prompted a reflection on the motivations behind the tiger's reaction. Tigers, inherently territorial and protective of their space, may perceive intrusions as threats. The unexpected proximity of a visitor's hand could trigger a defensive response, leading to an instinctual nip or bite. Wildlife experts underscored the importance of recognizing and respecting animals' natural behaviors in captivity to minimize the risk of such incidents. The tiger involved in the incident, Raja, faced no punitive measures. Instead, the park opted for a nuanced approach, recognizing that the tiger's actions responded to an unforeseen situation. Raja remained in his enclosure, and the incident prompted the park to enhance enrichment activities for the resident tigers, promoting their physical and mental well-being. In the larger context, the Sunhaven Wildlife Park incident catalyzed heightened vigilance within the zoo community. The narrative of the Anderson family served as a cautionary tale, reminding visitors worldwide of the imperative to respect safety guidelines and the inherent risks associated with unscripted interactions with wild animals.